and the majority continues to falsely claim that all members of the minority support defunding the police, attempting to connect the actions of the few to the minority more broadly, end quote. Uh, Mr. Biggs, in your view, is the policy objective to defund the police an action of a few among the Democratic uh, Party, or is it uh, more than that? Um, thanks for the question. I think it's uh, pretty broad in, in that party, to be honest with you. Yes, and to your point, I'd like to take a moment to highlight a memo uh, that your committee released in 2021. In that memo, the committee highlighted 22 cities that had instituted a total of $1.73 billion in cuts to their police. An additional four cities were considering an additional $130.5 million in cuts at that same time. Uh, and at the time, every one of these cities either had both Democratic mayors and Democratic-controlled councils. Uh, these are blue cities run by Democrats often for decades. Uh, and in many cases, uh, it, it, almost all of them for decades, it's hard to characterize the actions of some of our country's biggest cities, New York, L.A., Chicago, Philadelphia, San Francisco, as the actions of the few uh, when it comes to calls to defund the police. These also happen to be some of the most dangerous cities in the United States of America, and nearly all of them have seen skyrocketing crime since their Democratic-controlled city governments made the decision to defund our brave men and women working to keep communities and <coughs> residents safe. New York City, one of the leaders in the defund the police movement, saw felony crime at levels not seen in 15 years. Last year, New York City saw a 22.4% jump in serious offenses, including felony assault, rape, burglary, robberies, grand larceny, and many others. Now, again, these are major cities where Democrats have a monopoly on the levers of power, and they've chosen to pull those levers against our men and women in blue. The defund the police movement is not the movement of a few. It's a message that has been wholly embraced by the Democratic leadership. If members of the minority are so opposed to the defund the police message, then I urge them to reject the so-called few who embrace such a message and join their Republican colleagues in what is a very straightforward, positive action to demonstrate congressional support for those that risk everything, every day, to keep our community safe. Mm -hmm. And I yield back, Mr. Chairman. 